What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and today's Mega Art Review is going to be on Mega Sharpedo. Mega Sharpedo has an excellent design. Just have to say that first off. That was my first time seeing it earlier today. But anyways though, Sharpedo is actually one of those Pokemon uh, in its Mega form that is going to be a little bit more straightforward to use. Uh, it retains its Water Dark typing and it gains the ability Strong Jaw over its uh, old abilities. Strong Jaw increases the power of biting type moves uh, by 50%. Um, strangely, I don't think that that includes the move bite. Anyways though, it gets a pretty sizable boost to its attack, defense, and special attack. Not so much to special defense, and then it gets a little bit more speed. Mega Sharpedo, actually, um, I feel like its, it's uh, stat spread is not optimized. Uh, even with 70, 70, 65 defenses, being water, dark, leaves it with so many weaknesses that those slightly more bulky defenses aren't going to do much for it. Now, on the other side, getting a bulk to its uh, attack and special attack is fantastic. Uh, you notice that its stats are actually kind of similar to Mega Salamence. Just, of course, different typing, different abilities, different move pool, but the stats are pretty similar in attack and defense. I mean, wow, attack and special attack. Some set ideas that you're going to want to take into account. Mega Sharpedo is going to be used pretty straightforward. It will be used as a late game sweeper or a cleaner type Pokemon, maybe even a revenge killer. Uh, the thing that I most um, see being used is probably a protect and three moves type set. Uh, protect would allow it to get a speed boost as regular Sharpedo before Mega Evolving and therefore either it doesn't have to run as much speed and it can run more attack or special attack or um, it can switch to adamant instead of running jolly or plus speed nature that allows it to have a little bit more power behind its attacks also since now it has um, mega sharpedo was already uh, used as mix sets as a regular sharpedo hydro pump and ice beam were getting usage but now that ice thing is getting boosted by the strong job move I don't see Ice Beam being as popular on Mega Sharpedo because Ice Beam has a chance to flinch alongside the freeze chance, so why not use it? And it's also a little bit stronger off of a much stronger base uh, stat, so unless you just want to hit something on the special side, Ice Fang is a better move. Poison Fang is there purely for coverage against Fairy types and um, Grass types, but of course Ice Fang also hits those Grass types, so you may not see that. You may see Zen Headbutt getting some usage just because fighting types are quite popular but the unreliable accuracy is something to take into account. And then furthermore, Dark Pulse is something that you might see uh, on those mixed sets, but Crunch getting that fantastic strong job boost on top of the base 140 attack is really hard to pass up. One final option to be aware of is Destiny Bond. Similar to Mega Hound Doom, a fast Pokemon with access to Destiny Bond is something that has quite a bit of utility. It's the same of idea that you see with a Gengar. So if Mega Sharpedo cannot take a threat out, being fast enough to use Destiny Bond before it gets hit and then just take it down with it is something to keep in mind. Now on the other side, Mega Sharpedo is extremely easy to counter. Uh, while it does have tremendous attack power, things wall it pretty easily if they have, um, if they resist its attacks. Um, for example, any Anything like Ferrothorn or Clefable or uh, even Slowbro can come in on anything besides Crunch um, and take a hit and switch out and wear it down if, it's, if it has a status condition or if there's weather or that type of thing up. Um, of course, if Mega Sharpedo hits Ferrothorn, it has to deal with Rocky Helmet and Iron Barb's damage. Uh, and then it's just really easy to pick it off with priority. Uh, it does not resist any priority besides Bullet Punch. And since Bullet Punch is generally coming from things like Mega Metagross now, or even to a lesser extent Mega Lucario, or things like that, those are still going to be doing a lot of damage because Mega Sharpedo just isn't that bulky. So, uh, going to be pretty easy to pick them off. That being said, uh, Wall Breakers and Stall Breakers are going to be Mega Sharpedo's best friend. Things that can remove um, the, the either your opponent's walls or at the very least help whittle them down to a point where Mega Sharpedo can take them out in one hit. Things that can hit really, really strong, such as Banded Darmanitan or Life Orb Sheer Force Landorus, can 
completely remove or to hit KO things that even resist some of their moves just because they hit so hard. So, uh, especially with Darmanitan being able to use U-turn to get in and out and kind of four switches, things like that can be pretty useful when using Sharpedo. So, be sure to let me know what you guys think of Mega Sharpedo. I'm interested if you all have been using him a lot. Uh, or if on the other side, he's just a little bit too frail for your purposes. I really like the idea of using speed boost as regular Sharpedo, then Mega Evolving to have much more speed and then having access to all those wonderful strong uh, boosted attacks. But thank you all very much for watching and I hope you all have a great day. Bye bye now.